welcome to the first Sunday Science, where we do experiments with things that you can find in your own home. This is Nat. And this is Hazel. And today we're going to show you how to hack your very own microscope with items that you can find in your house. So not everybody is fortunate enough to have a microscope like this at home. So today we're going to show you how to do it with everyday items. So what you're going to need to do this particular hack is a shoebox, a pair of scissors, a screwdriver with a really pointy tip, an empty CD case, some sticky tack, about eight clothes pigs, four pencils with a really pointy tip on them, an old disposable camera that you don't want anymore, and a smartphone. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is take some of your clothes pegs and fix them down on the desk using some of your sticky tack. Now they need to be fixed really quite securely because the whole of the rest of the structure is going to be based on these clothes pegs. And we're done. Thanks. The next thing you need to do is take some of your pencils and you put the um, bottom of your pencils in the gap in the clothes pegs which actually makes them stand upright. Now this is why they need to be fixed in really securely. So use the clothes face, make sure they're closed really tightly around the pencils and that the pointed end is obviously facing up. Okay, the next thing you need to do once you have your pencil set up is to get an empty CD case and you need to remove the cover and the inside part which actually holds the CD so you just have the bottom tray left and you need to position it in between your pencils to make sure that it fits between them loosely enough that it can move but not too loosely that it's going to just fall side to side. So once that's in place what you need to do is take your shoe box and actually cut a square of cardboard out of the top of it which is going to go onto the top of your structure here. Now this is where you need to use the pencils because the pencils will help you to figure out how big the cardboard needs to be and also to make sure that you get the um, legs in the right place. Once you've figured out where those legs will need to go, you take your screwdriver and really carefully you poke a hole in the cardboard using your screwdriver to make sure that the cardboard will rest on top of each of the pencils. So once you've made sure that your shelf is going to sit perfectly on your pencils, you can remove it off temporarily and you need to make sure that you have a hole which actually your smartphone camera can fit through. So the best way to do this is if you have a case on your smartphone, take the case off of it and I'll hand you your phone so I don't drop it. <laughs> and actually hold the case on the cardboard and draw into the hole where your camera is and then you can remove that and then very carefully cut through and make the hole again. So when you put this back on your shelf, it should still fit on the pencils and you'll have a hole in which you can take your images through afterwards. Okay. Then what we need to do is actually turn the camera itself into a microscope. Now for this you need a curved lens. You can do it really simply with just a drop of water, but when you're moving the camera about, and especially if you're using a platform like this, sometimes the water droplet will move and that makes it harder to see. You can also do it with some quite sophisticated lenses, like the ones that you get when you look through the peephole in a door, or the kind of lenses that you get in a DVD reader, but those are quite complicated. And so we wanted to use a bit of a simpler lens for us to find, which is the kind of lens that you find in an old disposable camera. You need to make sure that this disposable camera is not one that you want to use again, because you are gonna be taking it apart. So very carefully, you need to take the top, the front part of the camera off, and you'll see the inside of the camera, the structure that's all there. If there's a battery, it's a good idea to take the battery out first, just so that you don't accidentally get a little bit of a, a zip from the electrics. But it should be fine, because it's an old disposable camera. Um, you also then want to take the lens cap off the top, and what you're left with is the actual lens itself inside the camera. When you've got that lens, you need to fix it to the front of the camera on your smartphone. 
And so you get a little bit of your sticky tack and just pop that lens over the top of your camera phone. Pop the case back on, should hold it in place. And what you've effectively done now is turned your camera on your phone into a microscope. But we want to use it a bit more like a microscope, so we're going to put it in our little structure and see how it works. So the next thing we do is line it up with the hole that you made in the cardboard, so it rests on top of the pencils. So all that remains to do now is to actually make the shelf that we can move up and down below your new microscope lens you just made with your smartphone so that you can actually see your object and take some images. So we've already made our CD shelf, this is ready to go, so we just need to put something on the pencils that are going to hold it in place. So we're using the same clothes pegs we use for the base, and if you use the hole, you can actually clip these onto the pencils, and they should support your shelf underneath. You might find that you need to put a little bit of blue tack on the ends of the pegs to keep it stable on the shelf, but it should work and slide up and down now. So all that you need to do now is have something to look at with your new microscope. So if we grab one of these corals that we had on our old traditional microscope and pop it into our new slide, we can actually use the camera phone to zoom in, have a little look at this amazing item and take a picture of it to save onto your computer in the same way that you would do with a regular photo. If your coral is out of focus, or whatever you're looking at is out of focus, this is when you can just slide the scale up and down to make sure that your camera can see everything really clearly. Okay, so that's all you need to do to make your very own microscope at home with your everyday items. And do let us know how you get on in the comments below. Take some pictures and send them to us. Let us see them and see how you're getting on. You can add them to Twitter with the hashtag Sunday Science and we'll pick them up from there.